Hello, Nerios here, or Nerios, or whatever you want to call me. Um, and I'm just going to, because Facebook keeps saying, yes, you need to engage with people. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. I uh, live in rugby in England, and um, I've been recording my own stuff for about three years now. It was about three years, was it 20, 21 when I started, anyway, when we had the lockdown. I'm just going to give you a little bit of insight into my little processes. And also, what I'm going to be using that I, I've not, I've not used some of the stuff I'm using my new album. I've not really, I've not really explored it before, and it, it's good trying to, it's good, it, it's good, using new stuff and stuff that I'd forgotten that I'd had. So firstly, I'll uh, I'll show you my uh, my my main things that I use. Okay, so if it's round. Okay, and the main things that I use is that, that's my workhorse guitar that is, Bird Inlays, that's not the only reason I got it, the reason I got it, this actually, it could almost play itself, you know, it's so nice, uh, I've got that there, and it's got a, it's got a pick upon it, it's got a pick upon it, which means that I can use it with this. Which is my, which is a, a synth pedal, so I can make it sound like a an orchestra, which you'll also find on the next album. Um, that's a dehumidifier. It's a bit dirty. Sorry. That's my little interface, which hooks me up with that, and then <coughs> my bass, <coughs> my bass, which is a. Uh, <coughs> this is the main one I use. It's a, uh, it's a Gretsch, and it's a. Uh, it's a jet bass and it's a short scale. The reason I use that is because I'm getting a bit lazy about finger stretching now on the bass. But <laughs> the other reason I use this is because it's got such a great sound to it. It's got sort of like a very rumbly, growly bottom end to it that I really like. And I use that with. I use that, I can't remember what I've done with the pedal now. I use that with this. Uh, not for any outstanding effects, I use it for a bit of chorus, but mainly I'll use it to crank up the bottom end and put a bit of compression on it so it doesn't peak uh, when I'm playing, which is a bit of a cheat, I should just, if I, if I don't want to peak, I should just like change my playing style a little bit, but, uh, but I don't want to, I don't really want to change my playing style, I've been playing like that for years, I'm not going to alter it now. Uh, so, you know, my place will be a bit up and down and that'll keep it under control a little bit. Right, so I'm going to show you a couple of things that I'll be using on my new album that I've not really used a great deal, but I'll tell you what comes in really handy. The first thing I'll show you that I used on Pathways, and I thought, this is great, I'm going to use this more often. And I also used it on March of the Zombies, and it's a Boss SY1 synth pedal. So I'm just going to pause for a sec. Okay, so I'm just going to move the camera over here again so it's my little uh, yeah I know my editing's video editing's really bad so it's this little gizmo here and what that does what that does is it makes this baby sound all synthy so <laughs> funky things. I can't position this very well. I prefer if you could actually see what I was playing. <laughs> super machine that is and then <laughs> just because I'm in such a 
such an awkward position, not because I'm shit, well, because I'm shit at playing as well, but in a bit of awkward position, but you get the idea. And uh, so the other gizmo that I use is this. This is a little microcorg, and this has got some, uh, this has got some lovely sounds. I'm just going to turn the volume up on this a bit. Uh, my uh, oversized gut just pressed some other things there. And uh, yeah, so you've got a good things, a few things going on with this. See, I am playing it. I'm playing. Just in case you thought I wasn't. So that's got some good sounds on it because it's you can you know do your things. You can do your old. Club anthems type things like And the other good thing about it, it's got a vocoder. And it can speak gibberish into it. Okay, that's about as much of a tour as you're going to have today. But yeah, oh, I'll just show you. Uh, I forgot to show you my other little gizmo actually. Let's see if I can pull this out here. Ah. No, I've lost my other little gizmo. So, lesson for today as well. I'm trying to keep your studio space tidy. Don't take, uh, don't take my example on this. <laughs>